Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed. And today we'll be exploring the Gum Wall, Gasworks Park, and the Fremont Troll here in Seattle, Washington. Yes, you guys, you heard that right. Today we're gonna visit some very cool places in the city. We actually just made it back here to Pike Place Market. Pike Place Market is right over here. As you saw from the intro video, this is not the place we're going to visit today, but we have to pass through here in order to get to the first location of the day. If you actually want to watch a video on Pike Place Market, we actually came here on our last video and check this plate out. Everything that there is to see, do, and eat. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check that out. I'll leave it in the description below. I'm currently here in Seattle and I'm doing a video series on the different locations of this city. So far we visited the waterfront, Pike Place Market, like I said that was the last video and we have plans of visiting uh, the Space Needle coming up. When I was doing research on what locations to visit in this city, I came across a few locations that I thought were so interesting so I didn't want for them to just make an appearance on other of my videos here but also they weren't big enough for them to have like their own dedicated video. So the plan for today is simple visit a few of these places that are quirky, weird, and unique in the city of Seattle. We're gonna have a lot of fun, so if you guys are interested, come with us. Right now, we're heading to our first location. So like I said, you head over to Pike Place Market and say hi. Rachel the pig over there remember to pet her on the head for good luck and head down the stairs right to the left of it let's head down we're making our way over to the market theater or at least the outside section it's obvious you're in the right place whenever you start seeing a lot of people gathered in the same place check it out you guys we made it here to the gum wall here in Pike's place we actually did make a stop here on my last video but uh, I wanted to stop here once again to tell you a little bit more about the story of this place. I'll do this as I start chewing my gum. This place is usually full of people and today it's no exception. Even though it's cold, people are still here checking it out and taking some pictures. The truth of the matter is that there's no real reason behind it. It kind of just happened. It wasn't for good luck or for any other particular reason. It's just gum on a wall. The tradition of people sticking gum in the wall started in the 90s and I guess you can say it stuck since then. At first the theater staff tried to remove this gum but it just kept coming and coming back until it became a popular tourist destination. The gum wall has since been named an official tourist attraction by Pike Place Market Foundation so it's not going anywhere. This place has also been named one of the germiest and grossest attractions in the world. And rightfully so, as walking through the alley is both fascinating and not putting. Like that they brush their teeth that day, it honestly gets grosser and grosser the more you think about it. So many colors for all those Instagrammable pics and the size of the area covered and just overall mass of all the gum that is here. It's impressive. I guess you could also call it a collective work of art. The next thing we're going to do before heading to our next location is talk about the different methods of application. For that, you're going to need a lot of gum, so make sure you buy some before coming here. Some of the popular methods include the typical roll your gum and stick it to an empty part of the wall or add to a section to create a mini mountain. The next one is called the drip method. For this one, you have to get hands on and stretch your gum. This way, it looks like frozen drops or stalactites in a cave. Just make sure you don't touch it, which I probably did. The next one is more creative, if you can call it that. The trick is to get a lot of gum to create letters or a piece of art. The last one I'll cover today is using your gum to stick a message on the wall. Some people use this method to promote their business. Check it out. The hustle never stops. Okay guys, we're leaving the gum wall. We're moving to our next location.
From the weird and gross, we move to something more creepy, but equally as unique as the gum wall. We are now visiting the Fremont Troll. Now, the very first time I heard about this place, it was through a friend's Facebook post. Before that, I didn't even know this place existed, but I knew ever since then, I wanted to come and check it out. And I'm glad to say that today, today is the day. So as you can see, the Fremont Troll is a very popular sculpture here in Seattle, and it is located under this bridge. This is the Aurora Bridge in the Fremont District here in Seattle. The troll was built in 1990 after winning an Arts Council competition. The goal of that competition was to build something in this underpass. Building something in this underpass was necessary as it was not only used as a dump but also as a haven for drug dealers. The main objective behind building this sculpture was to reshape this part of town into something more positive. And in my opinion, they hit the nail right on the head. Let's check it out up close. Wow, you guys, check it out. It looks so cool and a bit unsettling. I feel like it's gonna come alive and pick me right off the ground. Oh, imagine that. Check out the spooky posture and just like that stare. Really creepy. It looks like it's like crawling up the ground. It just adds to that feel. From an article I read, it said that it was about 18 feet tall and it's made out of cement and a buggy. I think it's very cool how they show the buggy being squeezed as he's coming up the ground. I think it's an epic pose. Another interesting fact that I learned about this thing is that it is often vandalized so the way they they cover it up is by using cement they coat it again and again so i guess you could say that this thing is growing over time i also read somewhere that they encourage people to climb up and take pictures over there so that's exactly what i'm gonna do all right you guys we're leaving the troll behind and moving on to the next and last location of today. The last location we're going to visit today is conveniently located a short walking distance from the Fremont Troll. About 10 to 15 minutes, give or take. So it's not too bad. Check it out, you guys. Boom! We made it here. We made it here to Gas Works Parks. It's right here behind us. This was owned by the now defunct Seattle Gas and Light Company. This place closed down in 1956 and the city of Seattle bought it in 1962. The city of Seattle then repurposed this place into a public park of all things. The park opened to the public in 1975. And before you misunderstand, it wasn't like the city bought it and like two days after they were like, okay, now it's open for the public. Nothing like that. It was a big project where they had architects come up with design ideas and the best idea would be implemented. They also had to decontaminate the place from all the present pollutants and add some green to the mix as this used to be a very dry area. Today this place is very popular for flying kites, doing picnics, walking around, also like important events held here including concerts, athletic events and even political rallies have taken place in this location. Like I said before this place is great for taking pictures pictures and exploring the different structures as you do that. And if you turn just a little bit, you will catch a glimpse of the beautiful view of the skyline of the city of Seattle. The city is just across. Something really cool that you find at the top of one of these hills is this compass right here. Check it out. As you can see, this over here points to the north, south points all the way to downtown and over to the right you can catch the view of the Space Needle just right there. We'll visit the Space Needle on our next video so stay tuned for that. Check this out you guys. As I said this is a really cool place to take pictures for Instagram. I like the different angles and the colors and whatnot would make a pretty cool background for one of your photos. And 
On this side, there's actually a playground for little kids, but I see people going inside there and it looks like there's more like pipes and whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and check it out. Walking through this place, you feel like you're inside a machine or of some kind, like a watch or something. What do you say that? There's signs all over the place telling people not to stand on the structures, but of course, that does not matter. That was really cool, you guys. Really cool experience, definitely recommend coming here and checking this place out. And over on this side, you guys, you get a really cool view of the skyline. This is even closer than when we were over there at that hill. Definitely a prime location. Check it out. Whoa, that is so beautiful, guys. The reflection in the water, the skyline over there. This is crazy beautiful. Anyways, you guys, I don't know if there's a better way to end this video than right here with this amazing view of the city skyline. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you show your support by clicking on the like button and subscribing to my channel if you wanna see more videos just like this one. Always remember, guys, to be kind, have an open mind, I'll see you next time. Hmm.